How does PISA, the Programme for International Student Assessment, help shape education reform? Every three years, PISA results show what's possible in education, and countries are keen to learn from each other's successes. Just look at what happened in Germany. In 2000, PISA found that more than one in five students in the country did not reach the baseline level of proficiency in reading. It also found that differences in performance between poorer and wealthier students were some of the largest among all OECD countries. That PISA shock jolted the country's policymakers into action. All day schools became the rule rather than the exception. The government introduced binding education standards and created assessments to measure student progress against those standards. Teachers were encouraged to invest more in their own professional development. Compared with other OECD countries, Germany moved from below average performance in reading in 2000 to above average in 2015. And much of that positive trend stemmed from improvements among the country's lowest achieving and disadvantaged students. Half a world away, Brazil was the lowest scoring country in PISA's 2003 assessment. More than half of students scored at or below the lowest proficiency level in mathematics while fewer than 1 in 100 scored at the top level. Brazil set itself the goal of achieving at least the OECD average score in PISA by 2021, the year before the country celebrates its 200th anniversary of independence. By 2015, the country's lowest performing students had improved their mathematics scores by 34 points, the equivalent of one full year of schooling. And these gains were achieved even as Brazil added nearly half a million 15-year-olds to its enrolments in grade seven or above. Brazil still has a way to go to reach its performance goal and attain universal enrolment for 15-year-olds, but it measures its progress against PISA benchmarks. In a hyper-connected world, the standards of excellence in education are no longer fixed at national borders. Countries can learn from each other. Policies can be tweaked and tailored to work in different contexts. Every country and economy can improve student performance and make its school system more inclusive at the same time. PISA shows that those outcomes are not only desirable, they're attainable.